What's up guys, something a little bit different on the channel, Kayo Perico Heist, people are still smashing it out to this day, I'm going to start covering it on this channel, but first a quick word from today's sponsor. Are you guys looking for money and RP services in GTA Online? You need to check out this site guys, they are absolutely insane, very cheap prices, you can even grab yourself a modded account, so go into the description and check out Aurora Resupplier, let's get it. So we're going to simply start up the heist. Uh, this is for you guys watching and also new players to GTA Online. The first thing we need to do is get to the communication tower at El Rubio's compound. Now, I remember doing it. I mean, I haven't done KO in such a long time. Um, but I remember doing it before and it just took so long to, to, to get there, you know. So now we're doing things differently on the channel with KO Perico. Um, as you'll see here, I am very close to the location. If you're not, just move your submarine at this location uh, to get closer to your objective. And then we're going to go ahead and jump in our sparrow. Uh, I, I can't believe how quick this this thing is. It is so quick. Um, that's I'm, I'm guessing why that's everyone, why everyone uses it. So I skipped ahead, guys. We went to the location. We got the plane, the vellum, and then we're going to head into Cayo Perico. Now this is all about doing it. The, fastest and best way possible and easiest um, completely solo obviously and we'll just land in in Kyo Perico now and yeah this is tips and tricks how you can do this super easy um, we're not going to be doing it on foot either uh, so as soon as you spawn um, the, I'm recording this on next gen but this is all the little tips and tricks are working on all platforms as you'll see here I'll get the map up and there is a guard just ahead of us so what we need is We'd normally try and take him out or sneak past him, but if you watch, he's bugged. He just he doesn't see you no matter what you do. Uh, if you go up ahead here, you will see a bike. Now this is where it gets pretty good. So we need to get to the communication tower. So you just you just want to follow my route, guys. I did this first time in just a matter of minutes. Um, so you want to follow down this route here. You'll you'll see some guards ahead, and to be honest, you can go left or right. It, it doesn't matter as long as you get past them. We're all gonna we're all going to eventually end up at the same point anyway so we're just going across here so just go anywhere where there's no enemies and you're good to go so we're approaching you, you know you guys know what part we're looking for we're looking for the main part that we're, you know it's meant to be tough to get over so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to squeeze between here and go straight across very very easy and now we've just skipped all of that out uh, we're going to cut in a bit here, go through the middle. Oh, we nearly got caught then. Uh, just always keep an eye on your minimap, guys, at all times. Well, not all times, uh, every couple of seconds. I'd say every five seconds, look at your minimap. Um, and this is the part. This is the part we always had trouble getting past. Um, I'm, again, I'm learning the new tips and tricks for KO. And they're pretty insane. So shout out to you guys who ever discovered this stuff. But yeah, you're going to line up like me. And this this is super easy, guys. Watch. Boop. <laughs> and we're over. And I nearly went off the cliff here, guys. Almost had a heart attack, but we're good. And we're through. And all we got to do is get go through the middle, and we are at the communication tower. How quick was that? Super quick. And um, this is gonna. I'm gonna try and turn this into a series. So next up, next video, we're gonna move on to how to do the preps quick and easy. Um, a lot of good tips about those uh, going around and then eventually we'll move on to the heist so starting to do things a little bit different on the channel you know spice it up a little bit and the KO heist is still so popular it's crazy um, and I'm just gutted I didn't really do this before but it's never too late again because it's so popular but as you see here we just glided through guys and we are at the communications tower just like that you know you remember how long it took on foot and this is obviously helpful for new players to GTA Online as we get new players every single day. So when you are here, you're going to go ahead and you either have to hack at the bottom or the top. Just check and there we go. I can hack it here. So I'm going to hit right on the D-pad. Now, forgive me guys, I haven't done KO in such a long time. I actually forgot what to do here. But the number at the top, you just have to do a bit of math. Um, I didn't realise that we're called in this part, so I do just skip ahead. So you won't see me complete here. But there you go, I failed. So now the target is 39. So you would just need to keep selecting numbers to add up to 39. And you've done it. Um, but eventually mine was 120. I realised and I just added numbers to I got to 120. Uh, 102, sorry. 
Um, there we go. So yeah, basically you just add up to 102, whatever the target is. Um, boom, there we go. Um, so yeah, that's pretty easy once you uh, remember what you have to do. Now this is another tip uh, tip for you guys. This was a big complaint, you know, quite some time ago. Um, actually, we're not there yet. We need to... Um, I'm going to skip ahead actually, guys. Obviously, you guys know how to do this bit. We're just going to find out what's in the safe. Um, basically, look for all the loot uh, that we can get, you know, primary target, all that good stuff. So we'll skip ahead. And as you'll see, I've got the terrible... Vera bonds, <laughs> nothing special unfortunately, but it's fine because the full guide that we're going for, it, it, we should be doing the heist in under 10 minutes, but that guide will will be coming to you guys. So once you've done that, people would just normally spend half an hour getting back to the runway and just trying to get back to LS. Guys, just jump off the top and kill yourself. And when you spawn, you will spawn right by the plane to leave to go to Los Santos. Now, obviously guys, you can go around and basically scope out KO Perico, but the method that is going about and that we're gonna be going for, you don't need to do that because you, you, you do it solo, you can't carry everything anyway. And boom, complete. How quick was that? So that is helpful for you and new players. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.